Well, I f first, I don't like the word I did, but uh, it's a lot to the people out in, in the continent that have worked on something we believe is our, our story in, in, the, in Africa. And if I break it down, I think it, it is really about a couple of areas. One is the macro uh, aspects of our businesses, which has been very favorable. We have to say that. Uh, and we're helped by that this year. Uh, look at all the markets. It's been quite stable from a political point of view, maybe with the exception of DRC, where we had an election. The economies have been really strong, growing you know, up to 8-9% GDP in Mozambique and then slightly less in the others. Um, and the inflation has been under control and the currencies have been pretty stable. That's great news for us and for many other businesses. So that is one very important factor. But I think we also have done well relatively to our competitors. And that's, for me, even more important. Uh, and then you come into what is it actually that we're doing differently this year uh, from, from previous years. And I refer to it as a little bit of change of our operating model. Uh, so I believe uh, in, in the empowerment of our uh, local CEOs um, and not too much of intervention from us except for areas where we should be involved um, and there we should be properly involved where we can add value. Uh, so I'll take a few examples last year which I think has also been key drivers for our performance. Uh, one is our rebrand uh, which was really strong but also very well supported from group and the brand teams and that was very well executed locally and I think if we see that in the, in the brand results in the MPS service that it's really strong recognition on the Vodacom brand out in our markets. Second thing we've been very involved in is the pricing. Uh, and I think we have a more stable pricing environment, thanks to us, part, partly to us, because we are part of the industry. And we've been a bit smarter in the way we price promotions and price changes, not to trigger too much of the disruptive price wars that we've had in the past. So those two things are strong. The third thing that I think is key uh, this year, but it's going to be even more important going forward, is the way we uh, put the right people in place in the various markets. So the right person in the right place is for me crucial. And I, I think we need to find that formula that is not just about South Africans out in Africa. We need to, to have a view that it is Africans operating Vodacom Africa. So a mix of, of uh, people and skills and diversity is, is, ha has come on the agenda this year, but it needs to come even stronger going forward. So. Price, brand, and people, I think, are the, the factors last year uh, and will have to be part of the future as well, of course. I think it's a very good follow-up question to, is this just a one-year uh, strong performance or is it actually sustainable into the future? And I, I have two answers. And I say, yes, it is sustainable and it's known it's not sustainable. And it's not sustainable if we don't continue to change and push uh, the envelope when it comes to our strategy and our purpose-based organization uh, framework, which is you know, really entrenched into the way we're doing business now. If we continue to challenge what is within that, I'm sure that we will be able to continue our positive momentum, not only on top line, but also translating that into cash flow in the end and, and returns for our, for our investors. But again, the answer is no until we have proven it. So it's, the burden of proof is on us to make sure that we deliver on, on the sustainability of the performance. So I, I, um, I like to hear that question because keep, it keeps us on our toes and it, it keeps us changing and challenging the norms. That, that's a key area for us. So are we, do we have the right value propositions in the respective market today? We have good value propositions in the market. They're not perfect. Uh, and especially around internet, and mobile money. That's where I think we can be even stronger in the new propositions that we put out. Uh, but again, it's going to be different market per market. So we will not have a, here's a one size fits all in a market, do this. It's going to be locally driven. The MDs and the teams locally will drive this. We will challenge and support them in bringing the best to the market. And on that note, I think when it comes to internet for us, we are in a very early stage of the internet boom on the continent but it is happening and we're seeing you know an enormous exponential growth of internet from low levels but it's going to be the same there as we see in other markets across the vodafone group and also across the industry so we have a unique opportunity to use the best practices from the group
from other markets and make sure we get it right from the start, both in proposition but also through the value chain in our businesses. Very important to stay focused on the internet. The other one is mobile money. We have seen a phenomenal success in Tanzania. Mobile money, or M-Pesa as we call it, uh, is, a, is a synonymous with mobile money in Tanzania. M-Pesa is mobile money. And consumers today are um, sometimes coming to us just because of mobile money. And that's how strong it's become. And that we can leverage even more in Tanzania, we are, and also into other markets. So I think if you get the internet and mobile money, uh, right, together with a strong voice proposition, of course, uh, we, uh, we will be hard to beat. We have, as you know, we have split the gateway as once acquired into two separate units. Uh, one is addressing the enterprise market with data solutions on the continent, or internet solutions around the continent, and one is more a, um, our supplier of connectivity for voice and data to the world. Uh, when it comes to this part, uh, it, we have said that it's not, we are not the best owner of Gateway Carrier because it's a scale game. You need, in order for, for a Gateway Carrier to be profitable, it needs to be significantly bigger than it is today. We don't have the appetite strategically or financially to invest to get scale. Therefore, we have said, let's find a great partner for us that can be our partner for minutes, partner for data, um, and let's create a commercial relationship with that partner. And that you can do in conjunction then with divesting uh, the gateway car carrier services. We're in the process of doing that. Uh, we have said it uh, at the previous interim results. We are confident that we will get, get there uh, with the right partner. But it's not just about selling, it's about choosing and finding the right partner for us that can give us competitive edge in our mobile space in the opcos on the continent. Then if I go to Gateway Business Africa, which we have rebranded during the year to Vodacom Business Africa, uh, it's actually doing well, top line. It's not doing so well on EBITDA and cash flow. Uh, and we have, uh, during this year, addressed that with um, cost programs, right sizing, and getting to a point where we feel now we have hit the bottom of Vodacom Business Africa. We, we now see great potential in integrating the Vodacom Business Africa into what we had previously called Voda, Voda, Vodacom Business South Africa, into one enterprise community. So Vodacom Business together. And that's in the process of being integrated under the leadership of Sipo and Viani, which is gonna be a very, very strong partner to companies and enterprises that want to expand into Africa, or by, for that matter, that are already present in some of the markets in Africa, for communication services, especially data. So I, I think uh, what we've done now is, is the right steps. Has it been fast enough, furious enough, profitable enough? No. But we are at the point now where we, I think we can look forward and be positive on, on the future of, of Vodacom business.